Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And in this video, I'll guide you on how you can set up your Apache NetBeans. And um, currently I'm using version 18. And I want you to follow along with this tutorial because we're setting up um, JavaFX version 21. Uh, the latest version of JavaFX as of the moment. Now, uh, let's open up our browser and search for JavaFX. And uh, we can click on the first uh, result. And in here, we can download the JavaFX that we want. So we can reference the documentation and whatever that we wanted to uh, see here. Okay. Now, let's download JavaFX. Okay, we can select the latest version, as I've said, um, version 21. You can select also the operating system. And um, we can select also the architecture. So I'm using 64 right now type will be SDK and then we can download this file right now okay we just have to wait for a few minutes to finish the download okay after finishing the downloader So after downloading the file, we can um, see the compressed version of the JavaFX version 21. So you need to extract that and you will get this particular directory right here containing all the files of the JavaFX SDK. So we need to copy, uh, copy this file or directory and um, in my case, I just want to add it on the or inside the local disk C or C drive right now but um, you can add it wherever you want but I'm, but in my case I'm using the C drive to um, host my JavaFX SDK so after that after um, pasting the JavaFX SDK in the C drive we can go back to the NetBeans IDE and we can click on the tools and then libraries okay we need to add a new library and we can name it um, whatever we want so we can add perhaps uh, 21 but i think in my case uh, i have already uh, added the javafx 21 so for now i'm just going to remove that and then once again, JavaFX 21, so that I can, you know, show you guys on how you can set up the JavaFX 21 here. Okay, and then a jar or folder. Okay, all you need to do is um, browse to the directory of the JavaFX 21, and uh, under the live folder, you can click on that and select all these files right here. So, and then add jar all folder and click on OK. And after that, we can now create our project. So basically, I'll just use the Java with Ant uh, um, project and then the JavaFX application option. So this will be first JavaFX. Okay. We can check or uncheck the main class for now. Uh, perhaps you can name this as main instead of those you know, long lines of um, combination of package and uh, main class. So we'll just name our main class as main. So finish. And then after that one, we need to, we can try actually, we can try to extend the application class. 
and if you're going to click on the balloon icon you'll be given uh, options to create a class for the application but of course we don't want to do that because we want this application class will be coming from the JavaFX itself okay so um, let's remove that um, comment and we can right click our project and libraries and then class path add library and then we can search for the JavaFX 21 so the library that, li library that we have created earlier and then click on the add, uh, add library okay and then uh, under build you can click on the compiling and then uncheck compile on save okay and then under the run uh, you have the vm options here you can uh, copy this line uh, so i'll be adding this on the description box below so basically we're just adding you know options for our vm and we can uh, update this to the correct path of our SDK so I can copy this okay and then update this right here there you go and then click on okay so now we should be able to import the uh, application class from JavaFX and of course it's going to um, take demand that we need to implement the abstract methods which is basically the start and we can remove this for now okay uh, in our main method we can call the launch method right here and in here we can set this to primary stage primary there we go and then uh, we can add a new line right here okay and then group this will be the root of our uh, JavaFX application. Okay. Uh, okay. I think we can just copy, a, you know, lines of codes from this right here. We have this one. So basically, this is just setting up your first JavaFX application. And group. For the group, we need to add a line, something like this. Okay. And that should be it. So you can rename this or set the title into first JavaFX 21. Okay, and um, of course we need to set the attributes for our line. Okay. Okay. And I think we should be able to run our program. But, but, uh, but just to make sure, uh, let's just get clean and build our, oh uh, no. This is not the right project. Uh, this is the first JavaFX application. So clean and build. And then we can run our project. Okay. So now we have this. Um, the following error occurred when executing this line. Um, let's check properties and then we are compiling yeah we just need to uh, clean and build once again
okay uh, we need to update the um, run and then VM options so it should have the live or live directory right there so click on OK and then clean and build and finally we should be able to run our file or I mean project right now so there you go first JavaFX 21 and then we're getting the red line that we have configured right here okay so I think that's all there is to it guys for this video. Thank you for watching and if you have questions, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.